Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. And today I want to talk to you guys about something that I find interesting. It's some studies, actually I didn't know about all of these studies. I knew about two of these studies, not the third one. That Greg Knuckles linked on his blog when he was talking the other day, a new article that he wrote, which I will link down below for you guys. So go check it out. Greg writes a lot of interesting stuff. Now, the part that I find interesting in his article, let me point the thing out. It's called Steroids Work in Part Because You Expect Them To. If you scroll down to that, it's maybe one page, page and a half down. He's got a whole section there where he discusses three different studies in detail to where they have given lifters of varying experience levels. They were completely different types of studies with different timetables. Some of them to where they compared people's strength gains over several weeks on nothing and then told them they were on anabolic steroids and compared their strength gains how will their performance improves? Different types of studies they've done. And you'd be really surprised if you look over that. Apparently steroids, even fake steroids, can produce very significant and measurable gains in strength. Not just in fairly novice lifters, but even in veteran lifters who aren't on drugs. Who've never actually used anything before. They will get a surge in strength when they think they're being put on a low dose of steroids. I have also seen this in the real world with a guy I knew who was having really bad side effects from his first cycle of steroids. I came to talk to him about it and I looked at his stash of stuff and he was using something that at the time, like 15 years ago, might have been longer, was a known fake. It was a known fake. And he was getting acne, he was having anger management issues, he was having rage problems, and he had back pain and everything really bad. And once I told him and went and showed him that, hey, this is, this is a known fake, all his symptoms went away within a week. So, <laughs> the moral of the story is, don't discount the power of placebo. So when you see someone take something, anything, it doesn't matter whether they're taking a, an anabolic or they're even taking a new supplement to come out that's the newest greatest uh, fad that, and they're getting amazing gain or they're getting so much stronger or they're getting a pump out of it they're making progress don't assume automatically that it's necessarily anything in there doing that that it may very well just be their mind doing it it's always something that you need to keep in mind when assessing anecdotal evidence of how effective anything that you take is you can't discount the power of the mind also, before I go, I want to remind you guys, check down below at the Reform Fitness link. There are Juggernaut Fitness shirts like this one in several colors, tank tops and hoodies up for sale. And I want you guys to buy everything. All right, guys, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time. But let me give you guys a bicep shot before I go. Oh, Mount Pacifius.